Hello, this is Tim Bopp, and I want to show you some modifications I'm doing to the Hyper 9 17mm shocks that will make your shocks more consistent and faster reacting. First, I drill a 1.5mm hole in the shock cap. I then use a set of low-sea foam compensators, and I bevel the edge on the dull side. I then insert the dull side into the shock cap with the shiny side out. I am also using the new tapered pistons with 10 1.1 millimeter holes now available at Nitra House. Before installing, I deburr the holes with a sharp oversized drill bit. Just place the drill bit over the hole and lightly spin it. Check that both sides feel smooth and that the holes are clear of any debris or burrs. When installing the piston onto the shaft, put the taper side towards the bottom with the flat side towards the top. Be careful not to over tighten the lock nut and deform the piston. Before filling with oil, Install the shock eyelet onto the shock shaft. I like using these STR shock pliers to prevent any scratching. For the front shocks, start with associated 30 weight oil in the rear 25. I have found that the associated oil has been one of the more consistent oils on the market. With the piston at the bottom, fill the shock about two thirds full, then move the piston up and down to bleed any air out from behind it. I'll let the shock sit for several minutes to let the air bubbles rise to the top after filling the shock, I will then push the shock shaft in about one-third. I'll place the shock cap onto the body, hold the shock at about a 45 degree angle with the bleed hole towards the top. Turn slowly to let the excess oil bleed out of the hole. When finished, push the shock shaft all the way in. It should come back out on its own about halfway. I'm Tim Bump. Thank you for watching.